Hey, another Destiny 2 video, and while this one we talk about what's to come with Beyond Light, including an exclusive look at the new Hunter Vanguard vendor PayPal. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you enjoy your stay here, leaving a like really helps. Out. So we know Beyond Light, we are getting a new destination, but laws being taken away. A couple of new strikes, but laws being taken away. New PvP maps, but laws being taken away. New subclasses, and wow! None taken away. Loads of our favourite and hard earned weapons are being phased out, only to return in the future as new content for us to chase disguised as new things to do, yet we already earned them. But hey that's a different story for a different day. What I want to talk about today is the hilarious TWAB released last week, where we saw a new sniper rifle and the ornament you can earn for said sniper rifle. I mean check this thing out. Does this look familiar to you guys? I mean I can't quite figure out where I've seen this thing before. Destiny 1 maybe? I don't know. But yeah, with Beyond Light we are getting the return of Pursuit Weapons. This is what Bongo said in the latest Twabio. Additionally, Year 4 will see the return of Pursuit Weapons. For those of you who may have joined our community in the last season or two, these weapons have static perks, but allow for some customization. The final two perk columns have multiple perks to choose from, so you can tailor your weapon to your desired playstyle. Our eagle eyed guardians may recognise this beauty from a recent stasis trailer. Our goal is to have a pursuit weapon available per season, earned through a focus quest. Banji will give you a choice between strikes, crucible or gambit to earn the base model. Make sure you take a moment to think about how you want to earn the weapon as you'll be locked into specific objectives for whatever activity you pick. Once you finish the main quest, Commander Savala, Lord Shax and the Drifter will offer you an additional quest which will reward you with weapon ornaments to the theme of their respective activities. If you're omnivorous and enjoy all three offerings, all three will be available to you. So now that we've caught your eye with some fancy armour and a new <laughs> New sniper people, this isn't a new sniper, this is nothing but the beloved wrapped in a scarf and I mean it's actually people, the beloved wrapped in a scarf. So this new sniper is a reskin of a reskin of a reskin of a reskin and Bungie's reply, this adored sniper may look like the beloved but it has its own personality. Mate, that doesn't just look like the beloved, it is the beloved. Taking a piece of turd and wrapping it in tissue doesn't make it a fresh turd, it's still a turd. Actually that's the wrong analysis because the beloved isn't a turd, it's actually a great weapon, but you know what I mean. Now the only thing about this, the only thing that kind of disappoints me about this, the beloved being reskinned, is the fact that they are sunsetting a massive majority of all the weapons, but haven't really spent much time in making new ones. And I will be honest, and I've said this from a long time ago, Bungie are sneaky with their means of keeping this game feeling fresh, with changes to the meta, buffing one thing, nerfing another, this has been happening for a long long time, let's add a new amazing hand cannon to pvp for people to chase, let them get it, let them use it, let them break pvp, then we nerf it, buff ARs, and pvp feels like a completely different mod to play. And this whole sunsetting thing, which I haven't looked too much into, but I do feel most of the weapons they are taking away will sometime in turn in the future be brought back for new things to chase. And you know what we will do? We will suck it up and still continue playing. Because let's face it, we love the game to a point of us, in reality, letting Bungie get away with such. And I will be honest, long gone are the days where we actually care about reskins. If you are a D1 day one player, you've seen so many reskins now, it's actually become a meme. And I actually love the look of the Adore Sniper, and I love the idea of different ornaments for an individual weapon being obtainable from different modes or different activities. I like that idea. But hey, that is just me. I know many folk out there hate these skins and call Bungie lazy for sure. Which at one stage I think we all may have thought about it. I myself went through a phase of just cussing the crap out of them for the constant BS. But it's now to me just a year whatever. But hey, I don't live and breathe Destiny anymore. So it doesn't bother me anywhere near as much as it used to I guess. Now there has been a secret event held at the Bongo Studios where a couple of content creators got invited out to this event, me included, and we got to see a few new things coming. Lucky broke NDA and showcased some of the new weapons coming. The leftovers, the cliff edge, the hermit and the hangry hammer. Some amazing new designed weapons here for sure people from the ground up, you ain't seen these before, no way. Well I'm gonna break NDA too as we also got a glimpse at the new Hunter Vanguard vendor. 
Here he is, it's called Scarf 7, created obviously from the ground up. Also has a truly unique hand cannon, can't wait to see if that thing's obtainable. But yeah, from what we heard, this dude really lights up the atmosphere, and has a weird fascination with pigeons. So yeah, and the air has been broken, I do hope Bungie don't take this down before you guys get to see it. Now on a serious note, I am even after all the BS, the reskins and whatever, I'm super looking forward to Beyond Light. How about you? Let me know down below in that comment section. Also let me know what you think about this new adored sniper. Does it bother you that it's a reskin? Does it bother you that the ornaments are basically just cloth wrapped around the beloved? Let me know down below. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more D2, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn the notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.